Ladies and gentlemen, I am Israel. Welcome, welcome back to Ranked Battles in World of Warships. It is Wednesday, the 29th of August. It is just after 7 o'clock British Summer Time. You can do your own maths. It's, I'm going to have enough sums to do tonight as it is. The Mighty Hotel, ladies and gentlemen. She's seen me up to rank 14 so far with a couple of dalliances with other ships, but we don't talk about those. Not really much to say. Let's get straight into it. Bottom of rank 14 at the moment. Well, 14-1. Aim tonight is to get to at least 13 and maybe even scrape the irrevocable 12. Or possibly my sanity will crack and I will be found curled up in the corner gibbering with my thumb in my mouth tomorrow morning. Who knows? Who cares? We'll find out. And the matchmaker's in a good mood. Okay, two Yamatos, Des Moines, Hindi, 52, Gosvoy, Ye Yang. Against two Z-52s. Okay, we can play the smoke bullying game. That's, well question and if we can erase their Des Moines we take their radar out. Problem is it's Minotaur on Hindenburg and well Minotaurs have a tendency to um, <clears throat> explode when you point a battleship at them so plan I think is going to be fire support from the east side of B swing around on C and see how much damage I can do from there. A of course bit of a blind alley but we can maybe detach one of the destroyers off to deal with it yeah 24 more stars to go well what are you doing Dak? get on with it <laughs> yeah I, i'm trying not to think about how many more stars i've got to go it's far too many i've never actually made rank one my best is rank five in season six and that was off about 70 battles 80 battles before i got bored Okay, so the DM and the Grozzi are looking at point A. The 52s are moving out for B. I have got the rudder over and I should probably step on the gas as well. That would help considerably. And both Yamato's moving. Okay, our cruisers are going for point A as well. Okay, it looks like we could be playing a delaying action out of point B. That's problematic because with one of the Z-52s doing a 270. Hmm. That could get awkward. On the other hand, what I can do is I can come down the west side of B, dig in, and anything trying to cross the corridor from C to A is going to find itself on the wrong side of a shooting gallery. Okay, so Dyron had some keyboard problems. Fair enough, mate. I've actually had my mouse zonk out on me in a game. It is um, inconvenient, to say the least. And um, we have a hotel who apparently forgot her camo. Well, if you will send her out without any uh, clothes, well, Citadels will result. Kiam on, that's right. Just hold like that. Stabilize, stabilize, stabilize. And just fire. I'd have liked to have held that shot a little longer, but you take what you can get, especially when the target just disappears. Okay, 52 and Grozovoy colliding over at point A, and unfortunately our Grozovoy is getting the worst of it. He can maybe dump torpedoes, but he's not got long. Did he get his torpedoes off? No, he did not. The A Yang. The A. Wow, the A Yang. The Grozzy and the 52 all ganged up on R52. That is kind of bad. Okay, let's have a look. Ye Yang is turning and jinking. Do I have better targets? No, not really. We have point B. Now, the enemy are trying for centre ground. But with both our 52s back and our point girls have already gone, we've got no sight on their destroyers. Uh, and in fact, they're in a good position to make the grab for point A themselves, so... What we really need at this point is a way of taking uh, their cruisers out of the equation, or pushing them up. Aha, there we go, Grozovoy. Yeah, look, Grozzy. Um, this might be something of overkill, but who cares? Rounds out. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, one over pair. Made him think, if nothing else. Okay. So, the plan as it stood is... Uh, balls. Oh, well, that's the torpedo belt. Ah! 
All skill, no luck, perfectly planned. <clears throat> and the Minotaur has just discovered why you don't get in front of the Yamato. Right, okay, we have a problem. I was hoping, I was hoping that, as I said, I could identif get a uh, kill zone set up on the midfield, but they've got point A. Our cruiser has been forced into cover. Our other cruiser is dead. There are two control points and two kills up, and we've barely dented them. So, until... I don't really have a plan here, and that's kind of problematic. What I could do, I suppose, is try to push into midfield, and if we can catch them in a crossfire with the other Yamato, then maybe we can take their battleships? But the timing's awkward, and I'll be running a destroyer gauntlet for most of the way, so... This comes under the heading of horrendously bad idea. Can I hit that 52? Yeah, I think so. Rounds are A. There's the Des Moines. Uh, there's the Des Moines. There's the Des Moines. Right. Rounds out. Although he is turning in on them, so he is not going to do too bad. Unfortunately, he is also going to be in a position essentially to wreck our Z50. Well, one of our Z52s. And even with the best of intentions, those torps. Well, he might get one. No, he doesn't get either. Right guns on the Des Moines. We have to kill that first. Uh, angle, check, line, rounds out. Get the bow round. I also need to consider the fact that that, uh, okay, he felt that one, certainly, but I've lost the stern type because of the turn. Okay, um, right, ahead one half, track the guns left. There, Yamato is kind of thinking about pushing forwards, but maybe not. And, okay, slow Des Moines. Just try and finish him off quickly. Come on, turn, 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 turn. That's right, thank you. I actually wanted you to die a little more effectively than that, if you don't mind. Um, five degrees on the stern, never mind. Oh, hello, uh, Hopulik. Right, okay, so I drifted a little too far forward there. Let's well, we're committed anyway, so let's get the guns forward. Oh, nuts again. These are not going to be out of range, but I can hopefully take one on the belt and soak the rest. Okay, could have been worse. Right, bow on, target his forward turret, or at least just below it. And then I need to turn hard because he is going to have a clear shot at my citadel. There we are. I'm in a very disadvantaged position here. There's the Grozzi, so that's where those torpedoes came from. What we don't have... Okay, the Aeyang's over there, the z is over there. Fine, right. Just the Yamato, I need to worry about them. Let's give him enough of an angle to look at the belt and see if he goes for... See if I can deflect the belt rather than... Okay, scratch that plan. I'm not deflecting anything. He's smart enough not to aim for my belt and instead try to plow through my bow. Kind of awkward. Okay, let's turn in, turn in, turn in. Okay, target his... Try and catch that citadel. Another 18,000. He felt that one. Okay, right. Okay, right. Rounds on. He's targeting the Des Moines, but there is a second Yamato engaging. I can, can't really catch him broadside, but I can keep my forward guns on. Okay, target again. Rounds out. Come on. Bingo! Found his citadel. Good, right. Straight in, straight in, straight in. Just hope I can min my type profile, but I'm going to eat a lot back. Wow! How did I get away with that? I'm not honestly not sure. Okay, almost reloaded. I just need another good shot. Whether I'm going to get it is anyone's guess. Target is accelerating. Target forwards. Boom! And, yep, there's the Citadel. Right, so, we are back to 3-3. Three to three. Problem is, they are still two control points up. And unless we can take out this Grozovoy, we have got a serious problem. And that kind of serious problem is expressed as exploding battleship. Okay, that's Yamato going for it. 774. 
Okay, forward guns on the Hindenburg, who is just creeping forward. There we go, rounds out. Stern turret still cranking. Where is that Grozzy? There's the Grozzy, and I... Wow, one over pen. Okay, normal service has been resumed as far as luck is goes. Can I do any better? No, not really. So let's look at Yamato instead. Target the cheek. There we are. Rounds away. Grozzy is in point B. That's problematic to say the least. Okay, found a high caliber. Uh, wasn't expecting to pull that off an overpen, but um, I can live with it. 110,000. Just push forwards, tank. Hope I can keep them busy enough that 52 over there can make a shot. That might do the trick, as it is. Okay, he's static. Fine. Citadel shot it is then. Straight through the belt. 46 centimeter guns. Care not for your uh, armor. However, 5,000 health means that I might have to start. Oh, oh yes, of course. Right, just kill that. Unfortunately, Yami at this point just needs one overpen, and that's me gone. Let's get the suicide spotter up just in time, but it's not going to make a difference. That is a fairly convincing loss, it has to be said. Uh, not a great start. Uh, the mighty Yamato, she's not a hotel. Uh, it's not a new boat, but it's one I don't play very often. So taking her out during ranked, well, it's... As good a way as any, and those 46 centimeter guns are kind of fun. So, managed to smack down one and severely dent another. I might, might hold a star off this, but we'll see. It would have to come off damage. Uh, you know, I think I might have held the star. Yes, held the star. Good. 1,030, pretty convincing. That's what 125,000 damage gets you. Like I said. She's, she's not a bad boat. At least not when you've not got carriers beating you to death. Okay, let's quickly grab a box. And resources, of course, because I want coal. I'll admit the chance to play around with these at tier 9 with the Musashi is still pretty tempting. Yay! Coal! Excellent! Need coal and anti-detonation flags. Juliet Charlie's always welcome in ranks after all. Let's just check signals. I think I'm good. Uh, 8 over 8. I do not have Juliet Charlie loaded. Hmm. Okay, well let's drop the second flag and fit that instead. One of those minor adjustments. I also only have one basilisk flag left. It'll be on to probably the wyverns after that okay best box best box oh grats judge on rank nine okay let's go let's go right another game managed to hold the star that time so not a total loss but drawing don't get your points you need to win and well yamato appears to be my ship through for this season so why not? Let's take her out again, see how it goes, and just see how the cunning plan works this time. Uh, okay, Kerfus, okay, Minotaur can be used, Shimikazes are a problem, but we have got a, wow, we have got a Harukuma, and it's Konkole Yodachi. Okay, there's a name I've seen a few times before, and we have a Conqueror. Well, if I can prize him off the back of the map, he might do some damage. Unfortunately, it's this map. Yay. Okay. Um, right. I'm, what I'm tempted to do is run west. Again, find some cover. Go bow in on the back line and just set up a kill box on the AC and BC channels. So anything trying to cross between the two has got to run the gauntlet. It also means I can get into where and establish some cap support there. Of course, this isn't without its risks. It means a long leg broadside to the enemy Yamato and Kerfirst. And like it or not, when Yami's broadside, that main belt really doesn't matter all that much. Uh, 
Conkek being useful. It happens, it happens, gingerbread. It's actually kind of funny that the hotel's my ship. That, wait, no, she's not a hotel. I, <coughs> please don't hurt me. Uh, it's kind of funny that the mighty Dai Senkan Yamato um, is my ship this season. I'm not normally a battleship driver, but well, stranger things have happened, and, well, Shimikaze's position in the meta is still not a brilliant one. Okay, Montana. If I had Montana, Judge, I would be severely tempted. Honestly, 12 barrels compared to 9 of those 16 inch super heavy shells pack quite the wallop. Uh, would I be on board with moving rank back to tier 8? Honestly, I think this split 8 10 setup. Uh, I'd have rather seen it kick in at tier 5. Sorry, rank 5, not tier 5. Um, tier 5 is what you get at rank 1. Uh, I prefer tier eight. I find tier eight to be more to be more fun, um, but that's just the uh, distaste left by game after game in random battles. So yeah, um, and oh, our gearing's not budged, so our Harugumo has had to back off. What would I? What would I like to see? Honestly, I wouldn't mind seeing tier 6 back in the mix because no radar, an uh, interesting mix of cruisers, especially with things like Graf, Helena and the like around. The battleships are split between the 12 by 14 shotguns and the 8 by 15 or 16 snipers. So there are some interesting possibilities there and the air war isn't totally dominant but we'll see how that goes of course. The rework is... Well, let's just say it's coming. Okay, right. We have one Yamato at 20 coins, and I should be jinking. Um, let's just line up on this guy. Rounds out myself. Here come his 18s. And, okay, I ate 15,000 off that. Sloppy, sloppy defensive maneuvering for me. And he's going to totally dodge my return fire. Vexing. Somewhat vexing. However, if our gearing Haru and Des Moines can get in and engage, we can probably start to turn this round. There's the Kurfus. Let's just give him something to think about. Plunging fire. Might get lucky. Might clip a citadel there. And there's the Minotaur. So, bowing. Oh, no, no, one hit. 4,500. Okay, Minotaur is backing up. Eight seconds. Seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Rounds out. And what do we think? I think their captain requires new underwear, but I was hoping for a citadel. Of course, he's now going to be looking for superstructure abuse, so... Could bow on, but that will mean exposing to the... Uh, Yamato, but we need our gearing to get his act together. Okay, so let's just range in. He's not changing his elevation. He's not changing his range very much. So, if I'm lucky... It's... And uh, then I'm unlucky because those miss completely. Okay, pop the spotter. Our friend actually is changing his range because he wasn't quite parallel to me, so... Okay, there's the Shimakaze in a bad position against the Kerr first. Montana. Minotaur has gone silent. We have got to force the. Oh, it's not again. Oh! The great god Iron Jesus saves me once more. Okay, right. I am in a bit of a shooting gallery here, to be perfectly honest. There's a Kerr first. More. Sh Torps. Those are coming off Shimakaze. There's the cross drop they were anticipating, but it did not work. Ha ha. Unfortunately, I now have nothing to shoot at, so we'll try for the cheek on that Yamato. Just hope I can back up. But right now, I am I am a punching bag for everything on the enemy team. And this is undesirable, to say the least. 
So, back it up, get out of the range of the 52's torpedoes. Uh, our destroyer has... one of our destroyers has bailed, the other is AFK. Well, I suppose the good news is that I shouldn't have too much trouble getting a uh, reasonably high credit on the damage side. Maybe. And, well, if our friend over there wants to uh, quit, well, that's his business. Part of me, I must admit, can't entirely blame him because, well, yeah, I I am aware that I'm too far forward, Dark. The whole too far forward bit becomes apparent only once the torpedoes are whizzing around your ears. Come on, turn, 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 turn. Yoink, torpedo beats complete. Right, get the guns back on. Well, let's go for the Minotaur. Match one. Match two. Match three. He'll jam on the brakes and try to turn, of course, but I was aiming slightly short. So, there we go. 50,000 damage, but I'm not going to live to do anything else. That's disappointing. As noted, however, we have... Uh, let me see. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to throw the reports out for this one. We have one report for away from keyboard. We have one report for bailing on the team. Uh, we'll call it unsporting behaviour. And I honestly don't know what to make of the rest. It's going to go straight to hell in a handbasket. Hello Thomas, hello Gingerbread. Yes, it's nice to be popular. It's somewhat less nice when that popularity is measured in incoming fire. I don't think I'm going to hold a star on that one. Did 50,000 damage and the rest and the destroyers were utterly useless. Uh, but as much as I would love to do more to them, unfortunately, legality, propriety, and the fact that this is the internet prevent me from doing any of that. So let's just switch ships for a second. Um, let me see. I can't take the Stalingrad out because I haven't, haven't officially earned her. She is purely for test purposes. Minotaur, as we've all discovered, is a total death trap in ranked. And I'm not doing too well in the destroyers. So let's grab Little Miss Firestarter, the Zhao. Don't tempt me, Legolas. Don't tempt me. Right. So. Round the midfield. Set fire to everyone. And if I can catch other ships uh, brought side. No, I don't have a Worcester gingerbread. Um, yeah, okay, that... No destroyers. Huh. Interesting. Okay, I'm not quite... I think I might be... No, the Minotaur is stealthier. We have two Yamatos, a Moscow, a Conqueror. I have got the 12 kilometer torps loaded. I could have some fun here. So, headful. The spotter's kind of a convenience at this point. Hmm. Evening, Comrade Katia. Good to see you. Yes. Judge, I would note that it is also fun with the gun. Lots of gun. All the gun, in fact. So, gun starboard. Let's make a fast dash for A. Make an early cap there. Dump torpedoes onto the approach across B and try and just discourage anyone from running BC. And then it's burnination time. Probably just with the stern guns and making an unholy nuisance of myself. Because, well, we've seen what the 46 centimeter guns can do to a, um, <clears throat> to a cruiser. And I have no desire to be on the receiving end of that. And they've got two Yamatas. We've got a Kurfürst, however. Both sides have a Conqueror, both sides have Montana. As noted, 12 16 inch super heavy sh shells can really ruin your day in that thing. There's a reason why uh, that Montana was one of the more popular cruisers for King of the Sea. But, uh, okay, 267 game. Uh, yeah, Judge, I tend to. It's one of those things I keep meaning to do replays and keep never getting around to it. It, which is unfortunate, so I do apologise for that. So, run into the north side of A. Top speed there, just over 35. Guns are set. In f 
back, who I might want to do prep tor high explosive locked prep torpedoes. Just look at the arcs cause Zao. I'm gonna have to be careful. That frozen stein there is running across my torpedo track, so kinda have an issue there. And our cure first is Oh no, no. My apologies. He is not AFK. He just took some time loading in. Anyhow, fast cap of A in progress. Both uh, Frozenstein and myself are in play there. I do have a torpedo solution if I want one. Purely speculative, of course. Uh, and also out of range of everything. But that's A complete. So let's start a run for C. Straight line course. Ideally, we want Titan Shipwreck to be uh, our spotter here, but... I think it might turn into me instead. Okay, but we did have the early advantage in the cap thanks to the Des Moines getting in close. Okay, so likely behavior from the enemy team. Pretty much what I'm doing. In their position, I would be running straight east out of B and trying to get a safe route into C. So... Let's see if we can disrupt a few things. Torpedoes won't hit very much, but it'll give them something to think about on their way down. Oh, there's a Konkek moving up on the A route. Well, I wish him luck getting bow on with the Yamato. Guns are off lock. Tempting to open fire, actually. But, well, dirty, filthy island in the way. And there's the Yamato. There's the Hindenburg. Right, so... Got him spotted for the moment. Let's just alter course, run parallel briefly. Uh, oh, Celeric, thank you for the sub. Much appreciated. Okay, and there's their Des Moines. Okay, content to play spotter for a bit. Des Moines actually going to run into my torpedoes if he's not careful. Well, I didn't actually expect those to hit anything. I just wanted to put the wind up somebody. But, hey, if he's going to sail broadside across a torpedo track, I ain't complaining. Not when they're Shimakaze grade torpedoes. Um, so he's probably going to feel that. One, two. Yep, he felt that. He definitely felt that. And oh, oh dear, blew my stealth for no good reason. But what can I say? I got a little trigger happy and pay the price. The enemy now know exactly where I am and there's a very very angry Moskva over there that I'm sending broadside to. Okay, yep. Bright side got back into stealth so let's alter course. Just a bit. Don't need to do much. Of course Battleship Moskva does not need to do very much either. Now if I tuck behind this island here, put my spotter up Wow! I don't know who's got the uh, laser-guided rounds on our team, but that was some nice shooting. Okay, let's uh, get the Hindi burning. And oh, Battleship Moskva has popped radar. Seven and five thousand, and I am unpopular once again. Okay. Chop some rounds into the Moskva, tuck in, get my bow on. Capture is complete. Moskva is burning, and if, well, he could damp on his way out of it, but it's going to get messy for him. Okay, there's another couple. Right, let's turn port again. I kind of want to run away from this guy at the moment. Glorious. L oh, never mind. Uh... Like I said, the Montana can do really horrible things to an enemy cruiser if it gets the opportunity, which just leaves one rather surprised Hindenburg. Okay, I've got about 20 seconds left on my spot, maybe one more pass. If I can pick him up again on surface detection, that would be even better. Yes, 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 we know the battleships are coming around the corner. Indeed. Although I don't know why you would have the crows on mind-altering substances anyway, but that's another matter entirely. Okay. Oh, we've lost our Yamato. Right. Um, 
Okay, position is in fact starting to get a little dicier than I would like now. Just wait to duck by that island. And proceed to stoosh the round straight into the... <laughs> straight into the island. Whoops. Okay, stern guns are almost cranked round, however, so that works. And the Minotaur's gone splat as well. Whoopsie. Well, that was perhaps not really a surprise. Now, can we do something about this Hindenburg? Because I could just play this out like a giant destroyer at this point and uh, just go with the torpedoes, but... <sighs> Might be wise. Actually, if I can get an angle on this Yauto. If I can dislodge your Planko via Torpedo, that might be worth going silent for. However, it's Conqueror and myself versus this Hindenburg, who by the way is chasing us in. Now, what's he doing? Looks like a full port turn. Is he going bow on to the Conquec? Or is he looking for me? That's a very good question. I think he might be trying to do a bit of both. So, let's give him what he wants. Torpedoes out once, twice, and rounds out as well. Blow my cover. But, got his attention. Unfortunately, I, I've also got Yamato looking at me as well. Hindenburg at least is shooting at me and not the Conqueror. So, start jinking. And time to disappear again. Hindenburg's turned away. He's out of it. The Conqueror's going to be able to chase him down. I can go stealth once again. And if I dodge the worst of that, whoopsie. And then execute a hard port turn. I should be able to start getting a decent torpedo angle on the Yamato. Or I could just use the island, get as close to it as I can. And never mind. Hello, uh, hello Yamato. Um, wait, did I say Yamato? I meant, what the blazes is armor angling, Toe? And the Hindenburg's got me sighted as well. Fine, so, lock torpedoes. Set one inside. Set two on the mark. Pop a repair party. Turn, 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 turn. Time for me to run away. Okay, Hindi, you want to play with high explosive? Let's play. Wow! Whoa, that's well I might get a flesh wound out of this. Yep, there we go. That's some consolation, I suppose. Unfortunately, Yamato is now in the process of dodging my torpedoes. Oof. Yes, oof. That's uh definitely the uh word for it. Um but broadside to a battleship, even if there wasn't much choice, it wasn't mighty Yamato after all. As our gnomish overlord is so fond of saying, that's a paddling. Let's see how that Yamato game ended. I suspect I lost a star off it. Oh! Nope, lost a star. Not really surprised by that. I wonder who preserved it. Oh, the Des Moines. Oh, he actually killed something. As opposed to our destroyers that, frankly, deserve their place. Hmm. Wait a second. How did they lose... Wait a minute. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. Okay, what am I missing? We lost three ships, they have three kills. We have one kill, they somehow lost two ships. How? How? Even if somebody team killed, unless he team killed himself? How do you do that? There should be an imbalance in the number, of, if they team killed, the number of ships destroyed should not match the number of Wait a minute, one, two, three, one, two, four kills credited, five ships sunk. I think somebody was a very naughty boy. Also, I can't count to five, which is a little embarrassing. And they still won. 
<laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, playing to save rank 14 at this point. I know, Judge, I know, I know. Or if you get two in the cat, I, I, like I say, I can't count to five. It's very simple. Ugh. Yes, one, two, three, five, and then you throw the grenade. Unfortunately, the enemy were not naughty in the Lord's sight, and they did not snuff it. Okay, Conqueror Kerr vs Yamato. Worcester vs Minotaur, Zal vs Hindenburg. We've got the radar boat. Which is interesting. We also arguably have the destroyer advantage, Grozeroy vs Shimakaze. However, all of that is secondary, so... Let's see... Plan, I think, for me, honestly, down across into B. I'm temp. Hmm. Action stations. Yamato does not tank very well. She does static battles much better than anything else. Uh, okay, you know what? Fire support into A. Okay, main force to be, that would include the um, heaviest battleship of the bunch. Well, okay, allegedly heaviest. Heaviest to actually see action. Oh, wow, that's not a bad cabo skin, actually. Team Shark, of course. Yank. Watch what that is on the Conqueror. Possibly Team Eagle. Hmm. Sharks and Eagles, Germans and British, all serving as one. Madness, I tell you, it's the end of the world. And that's not counting the anime paint job that I'm running either. Okay, guns starboard. Gearing's going for B. Ideally, we, yeah, it doesn't really matter where we put the Worcester. Um, so, I think at this point... Run for B, turn south into C, try to avoid the mid-section again. Eh, it was entertaining. It got a bit silly when you found out what the hamsters were for. But anyone who expected Girls and Schluckschiff got rather a interesting surprise. Okay, turn starboard. Okay. Direct course for... Alright, rodents of unspecified species. Is that better? Yes. 5-7... Uh, uh, it, it's on Crunchyroll. <laughs> it makes more sense once you've seen it on Crunchyroll, is all I'm going to say. Okay, AC cap in play. The Shimakaze's in A, so we know where the worst of their torpedoes are. Can I hit this Conqueror? Maybe. Rounds out. Okay, something has got line of sight, but God knows what. And I need to not uh, crowd the other battleships. Let's turn south, put the pressure on to sea, and oh, did hit the Conquek. Right, we have a Yamato as well. Just turn on him. Could hit the Conqueror again, although it's extreme range. Ah, I've got nothing else to shoot at. And, um, well, the rounds in the breach are the ones... Well, what's... Might as well be wasted anyway. After all, the, what's the difference between a round you haven't fired and one that you mi fired and missed with? Answer about 30 seconds of reload time. Okay, let's keep guns on the sidelines. Donk, donk, donk. Okay, Yamato, you want to play? Let's play. Uh, first, watch where you're sailing. Uh, bab, 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 bab. There we go, clip the Yamato. Can't do much else against the gearing until he pops out in front. The Brozovoy, yeah, is pretty well advised to retreat, but he did just severely hammer the gearing. Okay, rounds up, stabilize on the Yamato, fire again. 
let the curfers cut in front of me this time, slam on the brakes, turn inside to adjust the rudder, and okay, two hits, that'll do. Minotaur's a very tempting target, particularly if he's radared. Tuck in again. I think the fact that the amateur's having to choose between myself and Erwin over there is severely messing with his aim. Okay, can I do anything with this Minotaur? Maybe he's turning out, so let's give him that, see what happens, and then get back to putting pressure on the point A group. Ideally, what we want to do... Oh, good, their gearing's gone. Okay, three Asashios. Ooh, yes, good thing you're not in a battleship. Um, and the Minotaur's running... Turned into point A. This is not necessarily wise. Not with a, not when I know that there is a Shimakaze lurking there. But well, their Yamato's not really moving, so he's backing up a little. So let's target the front end of his main belt. By the time those shells get there, he should have backed up enough that the cheek is nicely exposed. And that's a sit. Kind of hard to see at this resolution, but if you're close enough to a Yamato, in fact, I'll show this, um, just in front of the uh, number two turret is the end of the main armor belt, and there's a cheek there on the Citadel that you can slam most battleship rounds straight through. Unfortunately, in this case, it's not working because he's gone into a maneuvering turn. Um, I am going to go full reverse back up and I'm not really in the mood for a straight fight here. He's still backing up, I think, so aim high on the turret and see if we can't get another decent shot there. Oh, control those fires. One, one bounce, one shatter. Really, uh, you seem to be under the impression that this thing can actually stop on a dime. <clears throat> a dime. Unfortunately, it cannot. And I have stopped broadside to a Gorosakur first. So let's keep the pressure on the Yamato, who is still reversing, as far as I can tell. So target just above the waterline, just behind number two turret to allow for movement. There we go. And there's the Minotaur. And he can have the stern turret as well. Okay, fall of shot was not brilliant there. The Minotaur, however, I think felt that one. Okay, Shimakaze is... Oh, I need to get steerage way back up. Shimatan is in the mood for some action. Let's get the guns locked onto her. Secondaries are going. Um, we've got a target lock from in the mood. All right, rounds out. I don't know whether this is going to rail gun or not. In fact, it's going to miss completely. Let's pop another repair party. Stay behind the island, just so I uh, don't have to worry about that happening to me. And Yamato, and okay, Kerfa and Minotaur are behind the island. That's not a problem. We've actually grabbed point C. There is their Yamato, nice and broadside. Aim slightly high. Track the rounds out, and start backing up. One hit, 3,005. Meh. Bit there. I'm showing a bit too much angle there. Exposing the cheek. Uh, bup, 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 bup. Oh, hello, Minotaur. I'm sorry, are you trying to abuse my superstructure again? There was only one punishment for that. Ow. And it involves artillery. Much, much artillery. All of which is apparently doomed to overpen. Because somehow that... Some days that's just how the random number god rolls. Okay. Right. Tank job is almost complete. You know what? I'm going to do something a little bit unusual here. And I'm going to go silent. Not sure if this Grosvoy is trying to drop smoke on me or not. Uh, no, no such luck. Okay, rounds out. Eight seconds until I have a repair party. Five. Four. 
three. There we are. Out of contact temporarily. Soaking the worst of this. There we go. Broken contact. Changing course. Backing up. And... Oh, even managed to accidentally torpedo beat in a battleship, which is kind of surprising. Mind you, one, two, three, four, five. Has our Shimakaze reload? Is their Shimakaze relocated? Because you'd think by now they'd have me spotted good and proper. Okay, 662 to 654. Okay, there's the Minotaur again. Rounds out. Like it or not, I'm going to have to take the risk. We need some kills here. Unfortunately, that did not account for the Minotaur standing on his rudder. So those rounds went clear into the water. Pity, that would have been a kill shot. I just need two penetrators. Actually, one pen and an overpen would finish this guy. Rounds back. Spot her up. And let's see. Will... Yes, it's blind. Will it finish him? No. No, it will not. The expression at this point is a somewhat frustrated, will you kindly die? The ship is on fire. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, time to get moving. Okay. Still no sign of the Minotaur. Let's pop another repair party. Get moving, relocate, and we do need to force the enemy. Oh, there it is. Right. Okay. Match, match, match. Broadside out. Might be enough. Didn't quite give it enough lead, but boom! Just near that one lucky citadel. Okay, so. The uh, free kill has gone, sadly. We're 260 points up. But the Shimakaze has gotten itself into point C and gone completely round the back. The Zao and the Gearing are chasing it, however. So, this curry burst is on its own. If I can play... If we can keep him isolated, if I can get distracted and the Grozzy Boy can get torpedoes on, then we have got a very good chance... Of doing some quite ridiculous quantities of damage but I am sailing broadside to a German battleship and like it or not even with German accuracy those guns are gonna hurt on the bright side big fat stupid German and he's looking at me let me rephrase that big fat angry German and he's looking at me waterline again 46 centimeters out Rounds over, rounds down, another 7,003, but critically, critically, the Grozzy has got its torpedoes away, and unfortunately he's turning like a mad thing, so they're probably going to miss. Oops. Okay, one more repair party left, but not really enough health available to justify fixing. I am going to have to, there's the Shimakaze, they can, they should be able to murder that. Assuming nobody accidentally eats any torpedoes. There we go. One dead sh turbo stripper. Excellent. Okay. Uh, so, point C is swinging back. The Kerfest is round here somewhere. 24,000. Okay. He ate some shells, but he's going to pop out in front of this island, most likely. So if I slow down, get myself bow in. The Hindenburg is broadside, but I'm going to need to wait and get the shot on the Kerr first. Ah, never mind, we've won the game anyway. Okay, I'll take a win. Should at least preserve rank 14 if... Uh, the other game went as expected. Okay, wow, two stars. Okay, the other game turned into a win, so congratulations to the guys who carried. Specifically, the guys who carried my useless fat backside. And instead you have World War British World Tanks slaught slaughtering innocent World War II vehicles. Um, <clears throat> I uh, couldn't possibly see how that's any different to the usual. All right. Pop the anniversary box. Rule of three complete. 
Please note this is the rule of three, not the rule of two. Very different things. And we'll also grab more coal. Need more oil. Yes, need more oil. Always need more oil. And more steel. And more coal. And more everything. Stir T1 with ATGMs versus Tiger. Uh, Katia, that's just dirty. <laughs> Mind you, Tiger 1's always been in an awkward position in matchmaking because it's the last of the pre-war German tank designs, but everything that came after was basically built to kill it. So if you do anything post-Tiger, it's kind of... Yeah, have fun. You're up against ships that were designed after everyone looked at the big German kitty box and decided uh, that's got to go. Right, speaking of stuff that's gone, I am out of uh, Scylla signals. So let's load up on Wyverns instead. Keep the cash coming. And just see where we go from there. Right, one more win for rank 13. Four more wins for rank 12 net, of course. Oh, oh, good point. Can I show the amateur's weakness? Right, uh, damn it. Okay, uh, we'll do it in game. It would be easier to do with the armor viewer, but uh, there we go. Before Tiger 1, yes, well. Oh, another zero destroyer game. Most Des Moines are going to regret taking their radars. Okay, so. Yamato. It, it's not necessarily easily visible depending on the uh, spot on and the camera scheme you've taken, but you can see just here in front of number two turret, you can see where the armor belt ends. So what you can do is you can plow a shell in on the bow plating, have it go through and into the octagonal citadel underneath number two turret. It's not the uh, easiest shot in the world, but when you pull it off, the results are absolutely hilarious. There are some paint jobs on which it's very visible. I'll say this for the high furry paint job, it's not obvious where the demarcation point is. You have to really know where to look. Or you just have to already know where the weak spot is. So, let's turn south, run into point C, and from there I can swing round put pressure on B as the enemy tries to come around and well bow to bow mighty Yamato wins the day on that one unless a conquer decides to just burn you to the ground but yes comrade Katia um, if you are not very careful about your angles in this ship you are effectively the worst armoured of the tier 10 battleships if you are careful about your angles you're one of the best armoured uh, Yamato is funny like that And yes, she's slow. And yes, her anti-air is not brilliant. But you know what? 46 centimetre guns. Where is your armour angling now, cruisers? Where is your 32 millimetre bow battleships? Uh, you will face nine Misaka class railguns. Not really. <laughs> But yes, if, if the RNG gods are with you on this ship, you can do horrid, horrid things to a ship at almost any angle it chooses to present, if you know where to shoot. Yes, but if you're the best armor, you also lose a third of your guns, as opposed to a Montana which loses half. And still gets overmatched. Anyhow, fractionally ahead on the cap, most of our fleet's going in 2.A, so we have a nice 50... Well, 4 to 3 AB split. Um, both sides have... Well, we've got the Hindenburg, so... Mm, you could argue that we've got one battleship, one cruiser, and one... Way, way too tough to really be a cruiser cruiser. There. Uh, the Sovetsky Soyuz. Hmm. We shall see. VMFDD shells. Okay. Right, let's see what the enemy are up for. And more to the point, what we can shoot them up for. Uh, Montana. Montana's got good gun angles, and as I noted, those 16 inch super heavy shells can hit very, very hard. I must admit, that's one of the reasons I'm grinding through the Iowa when I have time for it, which isn't often. Oh, hello, Moskva. 
Hmm. That's... He's angled enough that he would probably bounce if I try for it, but if he turns... Hmm. Pop a spotter. I'm probably going to lose my shot. Yeah. Lost the shot effects. I should reacquire him at the next one. Oh, Minotaur. Hello, juicy target boat. Well, he's going to have worked out what's about to hit him in a moment. And if he wasn't awake, he is now. Yeah, should have actually aimed a bit high with those, honestly, but... Uh, the Des Moines backing off. The Moskva is broadside if I catch him at the right angle. The Kerfurst is there. He might be a pain to dislodge for the other guys. Normally you'd send a destroyer in to deal with a situation like that, but we don't have one. So uh, let's see. Moskva is not viable behind the island. Des Moines is retreating. Other Des Moines is possibly about to get lewd. I uh, could swing out broadside here. I don't really want to face a 5-2 split. And I think Groshkova has just got to the same conclusion. So, we'll stabilise the guns. Turn out. Acquire that Des Moines. Hit him with all nine barrels. Get back into the turn. Okay, three. And 6,000. Unfortunately, I am now in a position whereby that's going to start happening. And I should, even with two fires, I suspect I probably popped the uh, Damcon too early there. Very too early, in fact. Okay, time to start running. If I can extend the range another 300 meters, I have a brief moment of respite. Because the person who's got shot light of sight of Moses Barbarossa and at 13.5 I should exceed detection and drop out from under him doesn't stop me eating ammunition however so good news we found the enemy bad news we found the enemy right Des Moines is bow on showing just enough angle to be a nuisance but let's get the guns over anyway pop a repair party track away there we go that dinged him a bit problem is the forward guns are facing exactly the wrong way at this point so until i can get them cranked round we have really got to back off unfortunately our hindenburg and our dm are basically committed at this point they cannot extricate from there i can however tap the dm again this might catch his main belt in which case it's going to bounce or it might smack into his deck, in which case it's going straight through. Okay, try not to show too much angle here. The Conqueror's looking the other way. The Moskva's looking at me and throwing high explosive. The other Des Moines is an open target, however. So let's just quickly put him down with the rear guns. Keep the forward guns traversing. Never mind, wasted my shot. First Des Moines down. However, we've lost our Hindenburg. Uh, can I hit a Conqueror? Yes, I rather think I can. Um, let's, let's see you repair Citadel damage. Let's see if the Tiabu can fix that. Um, turns out, yes, the Tiabu can in fact fix that because I didn't get a Citadel. Right, okay, guns locked on the Moskva. 33% accuracy, but he felt a chunk of that the problem is at this point really i need to start hammering that cur first catch him broadside take him out of the equation relative to the others get some support fire on there and if we can push him away along with the yamato then we have an option here but i think he might be going for the ram um okay citadel through the deck i can live with that and i think we're heading for that yeah there's the ram Okay, good news, bad news. Good news, we've got rid of their curve first. Bad news, we lost the Yamato in the process, which is not really a trade I'm happy making. Moskva, are you going to give me broadside? Come on, come on, give me broadside. Give me broadside. Um, It's not giving me broadside. I is disappoint. 
Right. Fine, we'll just settle for a lot of armor piercing instead. Angle away. Yamato, why you shot to A? Answer, because I was aiming for the curve first. However, Moskva is now trying to tempt me. I think... I don't think he realises how fast my reload's going to be. I'm going to catch him. There we go. Rounds out. That should do the trick. Should do the trick. Damn it. Okay, right. Okay, somebody else is going to have to finish the a cooler. Uh, if I turn in, we're Yamato and the Yamato, and I don't... That's a fair fight. And as we've discussed on many occasions, fair fights are for suckers and losers. Okay, one one penetrating hit there. Don't really want to engage three on one. Well, four on one. So what I want to do really is play a delaying action until their uh, ships can re-engage. Okay, let's open up. The Yamato's not looking my way. So while he's distracted, we'll get all nine guns on, tap him, and hope I can catch that weak spot. Nope, but it did cause a defence. And the Moskva is down. Perfect. Okay. Right. Again, as noted, I don't want to get into a multi-ship fight, so let's uh, see about bullying that cruiser. Or maybe not. Okay. Rounds out. Stern battery turning to engage. Okay, turn to deny him the shot, get bow on. Don't give him the cheek, at least avoid giving him the cheek as best I can. There's the Des Moines, who is turning out interesting. Is he going to give me enough? No, he isn't. Right, however, the Yamato most definitely has. So, waterline shot, just ahead of number one turret. And there's the Citadel. Right, start healing. And hello, Conkek. This is bad. All right, back it up. Focus fire. I think at this point, everyone should be looking at Moza. And if I can catch him broadside with a Citadel or three, so much the better. Because the new boat button doesn't work against those. Oh, that looks tempting. Yeah, that'll do very nicely. Of course, this does get us to the other way of killing a concrete. Just piles so much DPS onto it that even the zombie heal can't keep up. Okay, almost got him. Almost got him, almost got him. Wait for the reload. There we go, right. That should be the end of the Conqueror. Okay, it's not the end of the Conqueror. Damn it. Right, where's that stern turret? <laughs> okay. Pepsi gets the kill there, grats to him. Right, so bow to bow. Let's see, uh, is our friend over here? He thinks he can go bow onto me. That's that's cute. Hey. He's not wrong, of course, because I was at, wasn't aiming far enough forwards there, so track a bit further forwards. Aim in front of number one turret this time. Target his bow. Although if he opens up any more, I'm just going to have to go for his main belt instead and smash through that. Give him a bit more. There we go. Right, find the cheek. That looks promising. There we go. Two sits. And I suspect he's wondering where his boat has gone. And with that done, it should be simple enough to just... Ow! Excuse me, we're fixing that if you don't mind. And he's giving me cheek again. So let's see him turn in, try for the ram. Not it really matters. Rounds out again. Boom. Railgun through the bow. Didn't get a citadel. Didn't need one. Hmm. Yeah. Those sextuple tubes, when they work, they work very nicely. The rest of the time, they are the most frustrating torpedo launches going, purely because of that bonkers two and a half minute reload time. Well, he felt that. Wasn't that. I was actually expecting those to miss clean, but I suspect that was just a uh, random 
well, maybe about two random lucks of the uh, dispersion gods. Right, let's get back into point C and fix the damage. And how did I do 221,000 damage? Um, let's go murder. Uh, I don't think it wants to play. No. However, as we sail past the wreck of the Airbnb as it slowly sinks beneath the waves, humbled by the majesty, this is a proper five star hotel. Rank 13 is incoming. Oh yes, the Citadels. Yeah, th those kind of helped, didn't they? Right. Bad news, welcome to Unlucky 13. Yeah. <laughs> and there we go. 1,000. And a survivor, which is unfortunate. But hey, there you go. And of course, a free star and 200 steel for getting to rank 13. So, two wins, rank 12, irrevocable. And then the real grind begins. <laughs> okay, oh, wait a minute, what just. What? Will someone please tell me what happened in that game? Because I don't know if anyone else has noticed this, but it's the games where you're not really watching things like the score and anything else that you suddenly look up and realise, how did I do that? <sighs> but, all importantly, did I turn a profit? Ah, yeah, I did. Okay. Can live with that. Right. Let's get back to there and yeah as he said compliments all around appreciated also of course picked up some steel for that so oh thank you for the follow dan's legs hmm. so of course steel is used in the arsenal uh, and there are ships to be had most notably the black and the flint although i've got a long way to go with a thousand and fifty steel Unfortunately, the uh, uh, the torpedo goddess is not in this store yet. Wargaming, why not? Come on, you know it makes sense. Okay, off we go again. Two games to the next irrevocable rank. Well, let me rephrase that. Two wins to the next irrevocable rank. Two games... Uh, okay. Have destroyers gone out of fashion tonight? Oh, oh, uh, yeah, I can see why they might have done. That's an awful lot of radar. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, this would be why destroyers are extinct in rank tonight, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, boy. And a Salem, yes. Well, in fairness, it has got that uber heal. But as we demonstrated last game... The uh, new boat button doesn't do very much if you're smacked repeatedly through the citadel. They're on vacation. Uh, quite possibly MB-13. Most likely they're in a corner sobbing and complaining to the military police. On the bright side, this is pretty much a perfect position for a Yamato to start with. I'm bow on, I've got the two major objectives right under my guns, my flanks are nice and secure, and anything trying to come into points A and B is going to find itself in for a world of 46 centimetre pain. Yes, uber heels do not matter if you're repeatedly getting your citadels and engine spaces violated by armor-piercing shells, or even high-explosive shells if someone's taking that filthiest of filthy things, an IFHE Conqueror. Yeesh. And you thought Harugumo was dirty. So, head at half power. No great rush to get down there. And... Hmm... Uh, they did quite a lot of invading back in the 19th century, Thomaso. It does happen. 
Yes. I have itchy. People do it for the Lulzy builds. Um, usually they're the people who have been severely irritated by deck bounces and have realised that you can Citadel a Minotaur with high explosive in that configuration. Which comes with its own conclusions and there's a subject for an entirely different rant. African tribes don't count. They do if you're one of those tribes. I feel obliged to note that. However, the enemy do not appear to be in any more of a hurry than we are, so let's edge it up to three quarters speed. Just stay with the Hindenburg for the moment. Uh, gives you, yeah, 140 millimeters a pen, and yeah. Then you add on another 30% and you're up to about 140 millimeters, and at that point you're laughing at most Citadel belts, at least on cruisers. BBs don't push out. Wait, one of the BBs is, cruisers is telling us to slow down and take it easy? You know what? I can do that. Somebody, uh, ah, somebody fetch me a good drink. I mean, if we're going to enjoy the comforts, we might as... Oh, hello, Salem. Um, let me see. That will do. And I don't think he's quite compensated his manoeuvring yet, so gas accurate there is about to get rather a nasty surprise. To the tune of 18,500 damage, and that was without a citadel. Uh, clearly, I think detonated before it got there. Never mind if he, uh. Well, he's trying to heal, but if I can reload before he gets around that corner. There we go. 46 centimeters away again. Might. Uh, Iron Jesus has decided to troll. Only one hit, but. Yeah, this is why Salem has some problems. Oh, they have a battleship in Moskva as well. Can I snap over and hit this guy as he backs off? Yes, I can. Oh dear, what a shame. Rounds, guns loaded. Rounds out. And in a couple of seconds. Oh dear. How sad. Never mind. Let's turn on and deal with this Moskva as he tries to break away. If I've judged the turning circle right, he should pop up any moment. No. No, no such luck. Right. Okay. Um. Alright, let's kick out onto the flag. The Des Moines and the Hindenburg can make the grab for A and B. The Montana is in a good position to push on to C. The Moskva has... Well, the Moskva is busy running like mad and is not going to get very far. And at that point, I'm in a good position to catch the Montana on the flank and administer unto him the good news. Assuming he manages to... Oh, there we go. Right, that's all good. Okay, so I'm going to have to take the Moskva out first. Okay, can deal with that. Radar up. Rounds out. Aim high. Just need a couple of superstructure hits. Missing entirely is undesirable, but slam on the bricks and turn in. Get bow on again. Okay, rode the worst of that. And unfortunately, the Hindenburg gets the kill. Montana is now heavy. He should start turning in if he's got any brains, but he's going to be trying to get his stern batteries into play which against the amateur is a mistake fire on the enemy at least it's a mistake when the citadel gods decide they're uh, not going to cooperate however i can tack the worst of what he throws at me i'm bow on he can't overmatch i can start backing up and let the fun begin so correct my aim as you say stay bow on don't show cheek Aim a bit further forward this time. Go for under the turret. Okay, that's more like it. 20,000 damage. Port the rudder. Can't afford to give him that angle. I also need to watch my left flank because their fleet elements are starting to come through C. And the moment they clear that, they turn my flank. And this gets very, very tricky. So let the Montana finish his turn. Aim high. Rounds through the bow. 
Another 13,000. Pop a repair party. Don't overcook the turns. Don't show the cheek. Make him deflect off the bow. The Hindenburg's almost had it. Hassam can put him down. We're effectively in a single ship duel at this point, and I have the advantage. There goes their Hindenburg. Right, so. Target high. Target bow. Another 8,000. And that's the difference in calibre between 16 inch and 18.1 inch. One of us can overmatch 32, the other can't. And, well, the advantage is mine, Admiral Halsey. There are no carriers for you to chase this time. Oh, and that's... Okay, now he's down to three guns, so um, I just junked his number two turret. If he wasn't trying for the ram, he is now. I do, however, have to be careful because, well, our friend is... Okay, the amateur has gone down to secondaries now. What is he trying to do? He's either trying to get his stern batteries into pl Yeah, he's trying to get his stern batteries into play and force me to go through his main belt. Okay, that's a sound tactic, given that his number one turret is junked. It's not his number two, my apologies. However, if he just stays straight bow on, he's going to be zigzagging at this point. I can just plow through his citadel again. Wait for it. There we go. That's another six. 12,000. Let's patch this up. He is trying for the ram. I mean, that is really his only hope of salvaging this situation and pulling a kill back. Um, so just stay backed up, stay backed up, stay backed up. Wait for it. Aim low. Don't rush this one. Okay, 3,004. Secondaries are engaging. Problem is... Okay, just keep us bow on. And... The temptation just to let the secondaries try for a cheap kill. And an even cheaper close quarters expert. Okay, I thought he would have gone for a ramp. But, okay, I would question it. Come on, reload. And there we go. And while we're at it, there's a Des Moines to bully as well. So, a head full once again. Yeah. What can I say? It's not sniping, it's kill securing. Uh, I don't know what he was doing, honestly. And as you say, he could have tried for a ram at least twice. Um, I don't know. Maybe he thought that you'd have to get a good necromancer and ask him. I got nothing. Meanwhile, the rest of the team has very obligingly mopped up. Um, so we have one Montana at uh, an awkward position who is backing up and doing his best. But, well... Now that I can turn my artillery onto him, it's going to get ugly. Admittedly, it's going to get considerably more ugly if I can remember how to shoot straight. We've lost the Montana. Fine. Get the bow round. Here we go again. Just aim a bit high. I'm not going to try to get through his belt at this range and elevation. I think he knows he's lost anyway. Yeah, he could easily have uh, killed me there. I, I, I got nothing. Except possibly a uh, third kill. Sorry, a fourth kill, and maybe a s s cheap high caliber. But no such luck. There's the damage, and there's the final ship gone. Yay! All right, one more kill to Irrevocable 12. Okay. Astonishingly, I only came in second. Uh, grats to our Montana, who uh, did far better than me. Right. Ah. Why? Okay, right. 
How much longer can this luck last? I don't know. Let's ride it as far as we can. Uh, five seven. The final fight. The final fight never begins. <laughs> uh, vaporwave. That's why. Oh, two destroyers. They've come out from hiding, and we've got the Salem this time, which is unfortunate. But if I can take out the Des Moines and the Moskva and the Yamato, and the, uh, basically if I can just single-handedly wipe the floor with the enemy team, this should work pretty well. It's aesthetic, of course. Okay. If I take a left, try and put some flanking fire in from C, that might be the best way to go here. So, throttle up. Guns lock starboard. Main battery mod 3, net net. And turn to port. Kitakaze is one of the few tier 9s that isn't an unfortunate bump on the way to the tier 10. But yes, the trading off... <sighs> it's funny that adding those two tubes has seriously made the torpedo launcher weaker rather than stronger. But law of unintended consequence, I suppose. I suppose if they gave her and Harugumo a 2x3, a 2 triple shot load, that would have made it more interesting. Anyhow, let's push in, see what we can find at point C, and get the guns on. Right, Hayashiro is also running radar. Good, because his alternative was Hydro, so we'll see how this goes. Point A is an easy, usually an easy cap at this early stage anyway. Okay, there's the enemy. There's the uh, Moskva. Okay, let's pop the spotter. Sp Spes Cruiser Moskva, in fact. So, I'll turn in. Really need the support. Well, really, I sh should be trying to get close. I do think the Zhao should be pushing in as well. Kerr first sighted. Could try for some early Citadel shots there. Ah, Geary. Right, no shot on there, thanks to the island, so let's line up on the Kerr first. And hey oh Armor piercing away, turn it in. Problem is... Ah, right, Shima and Brightson are not in the mood for collaboration here. We can force Brightside in out, of course, and in front of Bergersian's torpedoes, but it's going to be dicey. Okay, there is their Yamato, so I should really be jamming on the brakes, putting my guns on the gearing, and unleashing 46 centimetres of devastation. Right. Showing cheek to the gearing, which is not what I want to be doing. Sorry, cheek to the Yamato. So, what we'll do is line up on that Des Moines instead, who is showing just enough belt to bounce. So this may not work. But the mere fact of having a Yamato shooting at you should serve to focus his mind quite admirably. One hit. Okay, right. New problem. Everybody is now looking at me, so this gets ticklish. I can beat the Gearing's torpedoes to an extent, but really I've got to get into a gun duel with Yami here, and well, uh, that comes with its own problems. So, target the bow. Assume he's going forwards. I don't have a good look at his speed at the moment. Okay, two and ten thousand, and the Yamato gearing is gone. Good, that gives us an early edge. 
Smoke screen. Who do you think's going to be setting a smoke screen over there, mate? The ship is on fire. <laughs> Why? Okay. Right. Rounds on to the Yamato again, who I think is backing up. Yeah, that will do. And I th yeah, just hold this reverse. I should be clear of those torpedoes. Angle of touch. I kind of want to get the stern turret into play if I can. But main focus at the moment has got to be just trying to find the Yami. I just repeatedly overmatching the bow and beating it to a pulp. Oh, I could accept that I'm getting out of effective range and shift my fire to the Des Moines or the Moskva. Yes, and get radar by the Moskva. Brilliant idea. Absolutely. Okay. Well, speaking of Moskva, excuse me. I'm, I, I'm still not sure who he thinks is going to be setting that smoke screen. Damn it. Missed the Moskva. Pity. That could have been a clean kill otherwise. The Des Moines is running for cover. All right, let's close the range down to around about 13, well, 12 and change. And just keep the fire on the Yamato. Yoink. Okay, people will cry unbalanced. Hmm. Yeah, I will say this for the duckies. They they share a lot of skills with the Harakaze. So if you've got Misaki, she transfers very nicely between the two. Okay, let's uh, let's try for the Moskva again. Just give them something else to think about. Put the pressure on. Shells. Okay, bad angle on the Moskva. Forget about him for a bit. Yamato is actually showing me just enough angle to aim for the cheek shot. Okay, so. Aim behind. Rounds out. Slightly high on the elevation because he's heading away. And. Meh. Three pens. It'll do. I must admit, I was. As noted, I'm trying for that cheek shot, but at. 12 kilometers until the shells flatten their trajectory quite a bit. It's kind of hard to yow. Okay, Montana, I know you're there. It's kind of hard to make that shot. Of course, if he holds that angle, that'll do. That will do very nicely. So let's uh, cut to quarter power. And. Okay, his shells are going low. Now he's reversed his angle, so... Again, trying for the cheek shot. Number two turret, slightly high. One. Okay, I think he's going to burn down in all honesty. So, at this point, push forward. And I think what we'll do is come around the corner. There he goes. He burned down. And we can start putting pressure onto the Des Moines, the Moskva... And seeing where their uh, Kurfus and their Montana got to. Because we haven't seen those guys for a few minutes. The Shimakaze, well, the gearing is going to be trying to chase that down. Although Creaky is going to be praying to his torpedo belt at the moment. So guns locked starboard. We'll take the turn around this island. We know where the Shimakaze is, so I don't need to worry about sudden torpedoes from nowhere. Uh, Creaky, on the other hand, most definitely does have to worry about sudden torpedoes from, well, he knows exactly where they're coming from. And I don't think he's going to dodge all of that either. Oh, eats one, eats two. Well, he's not dead. I'll give him that. So, focus on my own job. There's the Des Moines. Standard shot, 45 angle. Okay, he's turning. Let's look at the Moskva instead. Also panicked and turning. Can I catch the Montana? Maybe. Can certainly give him something to think about. Aim a little high. Aim a little long. Do a little dance. Fire shells tonight. 
and probably weak bitter salty tears as they plough into equally salty water. Or then again, maybe he'll feel it. Uh, unfortunately, our Shimikaze just went splat, which is unfortunate. And we're about to lose the Yamato. On the bright side, their, their Shima's about to go down as well. The, unless he's got a torpedo launcher ready to go, I don't think he's getting out of that mess. And splat. There we go. Enemy destroyers are gone. Torpedoes are no longer a thing. Which leaves the run across to point B. And then we're playing chasey, chasey, catchy, catchy, shooty, shooty with their fleet. Um, which we can do. Pop a spotter. And we'll just lob those over. Don't really care too much about the damage in this situation. I'm just looking for some hits and therefore some cheap cap resets. That'll do. That'll do very nicely indeed. And a few more thousand damage on top certainly worth having as well. Uh, Harugumo, bad destroyer. Not a bad little light cruiser though. Um, Flamu said mo move over Hoverosk. I won't quite go that far, but she's certainly a competitor. And very much in the same play style. The main problem with her is a combination of the radar meta and her turning radius and i was saying all the way through her testing i wanted them to slice about 50 to 100 meters off her turn radius but hey wargaming decided not to listen okay so there's the des moines right let's crank this back come on guns come on come on come on okay target is turning Target was not turning enough. Okay. Um, I think I can soak two fires without any serious trouble here. Can the gearing take the battleships out? Not a hope. Not unless he gets his torpedoes away. There we go. We've lost the gearing. We do need to make this cap count. Okay. Des Moines is, I think, feeling it. Fire has 15 seconds to burn. All right. Okay, just need to get the kills on these cruisers. Or at least force them off the control points. Unfortunately, if our Salem barrels into their battleships like that, it's going to go about as well for him as it's going for their cruisers. Okay. Moskva is trying it. Who does he think's got smoke? The ship is on fire. And there goes the Salem. The only good news, I suppose, is that I can probably, even if this goes south, I can hopefully save a star. Okay, staggered fire. I think those rounds are going to straddle. Yeah, that's annoying. Let's pop a repair party. Bring that damage back. There's the Des Moines. So, match traverse there. Five, four, three, two, one. Shots out. Should be a kill. Don't think you can do much to dodge all of that. Doesn't need to. I just need to get one penetration. And, of course, I straddle. Okay, we'll cancel that fire and target the Moskva instead, who I think has just accidentally beached. Yeah, he scraped it and that's cost him enough velocity that he's going to eat a shell instead. All right. Okay, the Kerfest is down to 8,000. The uh, Montana sadly is not. I need to get moving very, very fast because if that Montana gets his momentum back and comes around the corner, I am in so much trouble. Okay. 
Right, lock on. Okay, Liberation Bear's gone. Moskva is bad shot. Kerfurst is healing. But I should be able to catch him broadside, get bow on. And you know what? I think at that point I would probably have to accept... Actually, no, I don't have to accept ramming the Montana. Because if we can take the Kerfurst, deny the Montana long enough... Then we only need another 50 points to win. So killing the Kerr first will give us exactly what we need. In truth be told, killing the Moskva wouldn't be a bad thing either. Okay, let's pull that back. And I need to sail, save every health point. So I'm going to blow my damn con as well. I'm also going to target the Moskva. Guns traversing. Okay. Let's kill that fire. And... Right, rounds away. Bow on to the curry first. Hoping the Moskva can't start a fire. Okay, Moskva is now behind the uh, island, but he's going to have to come out again to uh, deal with this. And yet we could just run them out of time, which is not how I'd like to win this engagement, but you know what? I'll take it. Come on, Mosky. Stick your neck out. That will do very nicely indeed. Come on. Come on. There he is. Right. I actually aimed a bit low there, so RNGs are save my bacon. Oh, well, it didn't matter. Rank 12. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Irrevocable rank 12. Hooray. And with it, more steel, more flags, more goodies. Dreadnought, fireproof and high caliber. Okay, not bad, not bad. Welcome to the safety net. It's kind of, <laughs> it's... It's that feeling when you're rock climbing of hauling yourself over onto a ledge that's more than three inches wide and actually managing to realise that you can take a breather, you can relax, and, well, now you've just got that horrible muscle-tearing climb to the summit because, of course, rank 12 is the last stop before rank 1. Well, she's done me good so far. So, Yamato, let's... Let's just get on with it. Forwards. Forwards to glory. Forwards to rank one. And forwards to uh, probably a great deal of salt. Oh, only one destroyer. Des Moines, Target, Hindenburg, Firestarter. All right, the Republic could be a problem. Um, that thing is quite a good counter to Yamato. Uh, not perfect, but does same. And you know what? We're going to go with exactly the same strategy as last time. It did work. Down into C, round and into B. And good night, 5-7. Thank you for coming, on, coming along and watching. Always nice to have you along for the ride. Next stream, by the way, should be Friday evening. Uh, might take a break from rank, might look at the uh, British test destroyers, or, well, we'll see how it goes. I, I'm basically setting myself a target of one rank per day, which will leave me about 30 days slack to get to rank one, for the first time, I might add. So, we shall see where this goes. And I think we might call this the last game of the evening as well. We're coming up on nine o'clock, and we've been going for almost two hours at this point. So, turn behind the Zao. As noted, same plans before. Run south south east to get behind that island at Delta 9. Come round that, down past C, and round into B. Okay. Course is set. Guns around and loaded. Let's go find some boats to bully. Please let it be a broadside Minotaur who doesn't know where his smoke launcher is. That would be so welcome. Kite in Harugumo. That's not the easiest proposition in a tier 10 destroyer that only does about 36 knots on a good day. 
maybe 37 if you get out and push. But yes, uh, certainly getting close is not a good idea in her. Okay, there's the Republic. Now, where's everyone else? Oh, we have a Conqueror. And it looks as though this time everyone else has decided to play as well. So, nine out to the Conqueror. Let's see him print a new boat after we've citadeled him. Or maybe not need to print a new boat at all because there were two overpens and it did absolutely jack. Okay, right. Enemy this time has gone a lot more sea focused themselves. So I don't want to go barreling straight in. Ah, minis! Mini, mini, mini. So good of you to turn flat broadside like that. Rounds are out. Rounds are over, rounds are down. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why Minotaurs are not a good idea in ranked battles when you've got Yamatos running around. Somebody clip that and put the theme to only my rail gun on top of it. All right, Conqueror there, ooh, broadside as well. Don't know what it is about the Tiaboos tonight. They uh, seem to have forgotten what armor angling is. Of course, this is a Yamato. Armor angling does not care. And I think I've aimed a bit too far forward there, but... Oh, well, he felt it. Okay, Shimatan's in the point, but our destroyer's almost into A, and as noted, one of their cruisers has just gotten splat in spectacular fashion. Ooh, broadside Frenchy, even better. How much... Oh, he's trying to manoeuvre. In fact, he's trying to manoeuvre backwards. So, we'll accommodate for that. Turn in. And then forget just how fast those things accelerate. And that their main armour belts can actually deflect the uh, 46 centimetre rounds of doom. And yes, you have high explosive. Republic, thank you, I noticed. We'll just uh, continue enlightening you as to the true and proper virtues of shells that have been folded a thousand times. I think he might have just stood on the brakes. Yes, yes, he just stood on the brakes. Right. There's a Hindenburg. Conqueror's backing off. We've got to get that Shimakaze winkled out. Because right now that's essentially stalling everyone's efforts to get into point C. And they can just hold us at this. They've almost made back the score advantage from losing the Minotaur. So let's see where those shells go. Okay, yeah, that'll do. Knocked another chunk off him. But I don't want to go this far forward. Because if I do, I'm going to eat a lot of torpedo. What's the Conkek doing? Let's pop a spotter, have a look at him. And let's lose line of sight at exactly that key moment. Uh, Republic? No. Shimakaze? Okay, Shimaton is vulnerable. What I could do is tap the Conqueror, load high explosive and beat on the Shimakaze. Can always... Op nice thing about this... Oh, Shima's all the way over there. Fine. Armour piercing it is. Lose a couple of seconds on the reload. Get forwards into point C. Let's turn this round. Get them on the defensive this time. He goes only 1400 on Tetrek. That's kind of disappointing. On the other hand, he's probably cursing at himself for not including enough rum in those rounds. So... Okay, the Republic will come out broadside. We've lost our Shimakaze, which is annoying. Um, they are now actually ahead, but we just took their Des Moines down, so yay. Unfortunately, the principal thing that was a threat to was, in fact, the, uh, the Shimakaze, which is dead. I mean, it was a nuisance to me as well, but there you go. Right, so let's get in jam point C from scoring. Soak another fire. And the Republic is maintaining his angles, so target the bow, just see if I can get that. 
Yeah, I think he felt that one a bit. And then jam on the brakes, because I if he decides to rush me, it might not go as well as it would, say, that last Montana that tried it did. But let's just creep forward at quarter pad, get into the control point at least. Secondaries are on. And he is barely moving. So, 46 centimeter guns. Yeah. Bounces again. He's got just enough angle on that armor belt to deflect. Of course, if he's angled to me, he's not angled to anyone else. And the secondaries are lighting him up quite admirably anyway. Wait, wait. Armor piercing off. Oh, no, it was a Hindenburg. For a moment, I was wondering what fresh heresy that was. The ship is on fire. However, rounds out. And secondaries are looking. There we go. Right, so. Republic gone. Shimikaze is looking for torpedo solutions. I need to get this island in, in front of me as cover. And then turn in just to deny his shots as best I can. But that means running broadside to Tetreg for a bit. Um... Keep the guns forward, I think. While Beast is going to pop out in front, probably looking for a torpedo solution on me to stop the cap. But in the process of that, oh, never mind, he exploded. Fine, solves that problem. Stick with the arm piercing, pop a repair party. Okay, we'll finish the cap then. I think we need to take Apex down. If we do that, Lehman and Radl can get into point B and secure a 3 0 lead. And that will pretty much wrap this up in our favour. So that's the cap done. Thank you, Comrade Katia. Thank you for coming along. Okay, let's kick out behind and just see how this goes. No, sh no real shots on the Zao. Okay, he's actually been run well off the control point. Ditto the Conqueror and the Hindenburg. They're doing nothing down on the J lines. So... Guns left for a second. We're not going to require Apex for some time, not with that island in the way. So what I'm content to do is basically chase Apex, move across the gap between B and C, and keep the guns looking out for the Conqueror and the Hindenburg. Of course, if Apex pops out in front, I won't say no to a free shot. There we go, there's Boaty. So, guns matching. Time of flight, seven seconds. He's doing just over 30 knots, so we'll give him seven and a half. Rounds out. Yes, I actually bothered to aim properly that time. For all the good it did. Forgot that he was closing slightly, so I aimed a bit high by accident. Okay, let's turn in, get the pressure on. We are fully engaged again. And yes, we have a heretical conqueror here. I'm tempted to give the man a uh, compliment just for recognising that conquerors have armour piercing. And then I might take it away again just for uh, failing to note that he was firing it as a Yamato's main belt. Anyhow, stand on the brakes. Actually, no, cut to half pan. No need to go chasing him. 12 kilometres is perfectly fine for these guns. Especially if he gives me that nice, lovely, flat transom stern, which he isn't going to. Where's the Hindi? There we are. Let's tap the stern guns there, crank the bow back round, and there we go. All right, pop another speed change. Him that Nordschass will be now anticipating a half speed Yamato. There we go. Frustrated him again. Guns are almost matched. Guns are matched. And. Yoink! Turn inside and cut to half power again. Just a little bit of evasive. Yes, you can go evasive in a battleship. Of course, it's a lot easier to go evasive in a cruiser. And how many high calibers is that tonight? I think I've actually lost count. Yeah, the Hindenburg is throwing high explosive, which is kind of annoying. Anyhow, if he's going to keep turning like that, let's uh, assume he's going to reverse his rudd at the moment he sees my shells. Yeah, that's what he did. Unfortunately, I anticipated. 
For all the good it did, shells went high. Oh, and there goes the Conqueror. The fury of the Teutons takes down the Brit. Wait, 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 why am I cheering that? Ugh. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, another six out. And I'm sorry, we're not having f any smoking in this hotel. Smoking is verboten. So, yeah, we'll make this the last game for the night, I think. And I'm very tempted, I must admit, to stick the entire thing up on the YouTube channel. So, rounds out once again. Let's see if we can scrape something. Ah, you know, this might get lucky. Coming down. Just the one, but when you're doing 5,000, close to 5,000 damage a shell and target's only got 12,000 health, you only need three. Well, four at this point. Oh, and looky, he's uh, slammed into the map border. Okay, so. Not a bad run. Midway through rank 12. We'll call it there before my luck runs out. Oh, a fireproof. Yay! <laughs> and... Doink. Okay, yeah. I don't know whether it's just that I am discovering a new uh, waifu, but um, I'm kind of liking Yamato in ranked. Uh... She's, um, yeah. She and I are getting on very nicely, thank you very much. So we'll pop this final box. Oh, no, we're 14 XP short of the box, so. Mm. No, I'm not going to tempt fate. That is pushing my luck far too far. So just looking at the evening. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so 75% win rate, I can definitely live with that. So, j oh dear, Shuggy, that is that is most unfortunate. You you cannot suffer through ranked without a suitable way of numbing the pain. I'm not sure I'd recommend alcohol for it, but until next time, ladies and gentlemen, likely to be Friday, which will either be British Destroyers or possibly more ranked, depending on how salty I'm feeling. Farewell.